human hair as a fertilizer? The idea may make your hair stand on end, but Intuanano Malepfane believes it's a gold mine of opportunity. We're living in a world where it's like this global warming, this climate change, and the population is growing, it's growing wider. But the space that we're living in is not growing. There's a decline in soil fertility. It was more like wanting to recycle what we have in order to maintain and to sustain the soil fertility. The 24-year-old used samples of hair from three ethnic groups, African, Indian and white. She analyzed them for traces of heavy metals, as well as nitrogen, sulfur, phosphorus and potassium. Indian and white hair showed higher contents of both sulfur and nitrogen. Human hair sometimes is affected by your environment where you stay. If you stay in, in mines or in dusty places, yeah, it has an effect. You might have different level of um, some elements compared to other people. Your livelihood, your health style, your health style what you eat, your diet, your age, your gender. After incubating human hair for about a month, Malep Fane found it released enough nitrogen to grow spinach. But the study has not been without challenges. Malep Fane has had to convince the superstitious that the hair they donate won't be used for black magic. Despite the advantages of the research, Malep Fane's project was just a hair's breadth from receiving funding to further it. She believes there's no need to split hairs over the unusualness of the idea but rather concentrate on its potential benefits. Judith Subban, Peter Maritzburg.